Now we're going to look at the Echo. The Echo is a mostly straightforward delay device. It sounds great, it's easy to control. There isn't a ton to be said about unseen sound design possibilities, but there definitely are a few new tips and tricks to show you. And I'm going to start by talking about the feedback path in the Echo and how easy it is to tap into. So first let's play our drum loop here. Let's choose a new one. Okay, so there's our drum loop and now let's hear our delay effect. Let's add a little bit of stereo modulation to it here. Okay, and if we flip the rack around, you'll see we have these new breakouts and they can very easily allow you to add an effect to the feedback path of the echo. And while this was always possible, uh, if you created a delay device using separate DDL delays in a combinator, uh, it's really easy to do here. And I've had a lot of fun just trying different effects in the feedback path and you can really get great results in a hurry. So we're going to try something that's unusual away from the regular, away from the regular kind of filtered delays and whatnot. And we'll do that by using the BV512. And we'll set that into the feedback path like this. And now we need to make sure to switch it to equalizer mode, at least for what we're doing right now. And let's trigger the delay again. Remember that now every time the delay is fed back onto itself, it's going to get more and more affected by the vocoder. So by definition, you need a somewhat high feedback to hear this effect. Okay, it sounds pretty cool and unique, but I think it would be better if it wasn't so static. So why don't we go ahead and add an LFO that controls the shift amount. Uh, so let's bring in, well, why don't we bring in Pulverizer just for uh, ease of use here. And we'll send its tremor to the shift parameter. And now let's play back our loop again. I think smaller amounts of modulation work better. And remember we can add our custom kind of EQ curve inside this uh, BV512 and we'll get a more pronounced shift effect. So definitely play around with those feedback breakouts in the Echo device. 
and you'll get some really interesting results, especially using some non-standard effects.